In the previous Met Mastery lesson, we discussed the CHATS VASC scoring tool to determine a patient's risk of stroke and whether anticoagulation is right for the patient. When considering the use of anticoagulants, you may also want to assess the patient's risk of bleeding. After all, there is no anticoagulant currently available that reduces the risk of blood clots without increasing the risk of bleeding. Anticoagulation must balance stroke prevention and bleeding risk. When an injury causes bleeding, the body will attempt to limit blood loss by forming a blood clot to plug the wound. And although anticoagulants cannot cause bleeding, they can slow clot formation needed to resolve small bleeding events. This has the potential to turn a clinically insignificant bleeding event into a clinically significant one. Bleeding risk increases with a number of chronic conditions including liver disease, kidney disease, diabetes, and cancer. And the most popular way to assess bleeding risk is to use the HASBLAD scoring system. It not only identifies risk factors for bleeding, but can direct clinicians to correct modifiable risk factors like blood pressure, alcohol consumption, or the use of non-steroidal, anti-inflammatory, or antiplatelet drugs like aspirin. Like Chad's VASC, when using the HASBLAD scoring system, one point is given for each of the predictive factors a patient has. For HASBLAD, these are hypertension, abnormal hepatic and or renal function, a history of stroke, a history of bleeding, labile or changing time to clot, being elderly over the age of 65, and drug and or alcohol misuse, including aspirin and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Two of these predictive factors can receive one or two points. If the patient has either poor liver or renal function, you would assign one point. But if they have both, you would assign two points. Similarly, if the patient misuses alcohol or drugs, you would assign one point. But if they misuse both, you would assign two points. This means a Hasblad score can range from zero to nine. The higher the Hasblad score, the higher the risk of bleeding. A score below 3 indicates low bleeding risk, but a score of 3 or more suggests a higher risk of bleeding and a more cautious approach to anticoagulation is needed. It's recommended that you reassess bleeding risk regularly after starting these patients on anticoagulation. Because of their similarities, many clinicians will rely on the CHATS-VASC tool alone to determine the right time to start anticoagulation, only using HASBLAD as a supplement for specific cases. If you choose to use HASBLAD, it should always be used with and secondary to the CHATS-VASC when making this decision. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how Met Mastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About Met Mastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.